Morning, morning, morning. Yes, we're back with another episode, another rider. Today we have Riente. Riente in the car, and he is, uh, he's got his own printing company for t shirts and does music. I believe it's on YouTube, so we're just going to find out what makes him tick, how he gets on with that, and move along like that. So nice to have you That's here good. today, Riente. Nice, having, nice to be here, to be honest, bro. So why music, and what genre of music, and what motivates you in music? So why music? I had this boy who died, rest in peace. He was very into music, like he used to come to my house and, you know, make music, make just be a good vibes. And I was in, started modeling back then, so I do catwalk uh, modeling for D1 and uh, Elite Paris. Oh, is it? Yeah, Paris so, catwalk. Really? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Been I doing it for have... nine years now. Really? That's a conversation in itself. This yeah. is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, so, yeah. so you go on. Yeah. So I've been doing that for like a hot sec, and he was telling me like one time he went to prison. I don't really like to ask too much, so he went to prison for certain things, and he was like to me, oh, "I just saw you in a magazine, keep going and whatnot, blah blah blah." So. When he came out of prison, he wasn't the same and he kept disappearing and after he disappeared, we found out that he died. So after he died, I thought, you know what, this guy used to push me, used to train me, like, he used to be like, yo bro, you can make a beat, you can make music, you can make this, you can make that, you've got a good voice, so use it. So I thought, you know what, let me take it seriously from there and then that's how it started. And now I make more like wavy music, not drill, none of that gang stuff, just pure vibes. Uh, what did he die of? To be honest, the autopsy came clean. We don't know what he died of. We just found him on top of a charging pole. Just there, laying down. Oh, is it? Yeah, in on Milton top Keynes. of his, A charging pole? Yeah, you know those electric charging things. How can he be on top of that? I know. That's like he was just hung car. up there, yeah. Oh. He was just hung up there. Not like hung like from his neck, but just there. Just laying there. Oh. No one knows why he was there. Me and my boys, still, till today, we're still trying to figure out. But well, I'm hearing it, suicide, I'm hearing a lot of things, so... Really? Yeah. Well, if, if, well, they must know. That's strange that it's they It's either they know, from. but they don't want to say, or the family are trying to keep it. Like. Oh yeah, the family didn't tell you, maybe. Yeah, I but don't. out of respect, we don't pry too much in people's lives, you know? Yeah, It's I a hard that. time. Yeah. So, this modelling career... Yes. So how did you get started? So Paris Cat, well, I've met quite a few models and they're all females. Uh -huh. So modelling career, I started in, well I was in Coventry Uni back in 2014 to 2018 doing up business management and I went Birmingham to River Island for work. You born here, yeah? No, no, I was born in Libya. Okay, in Libya, okay. Yeah, but I'm Algerian nationality. Alright. So I was in Birmingham, boring, Christmas, um, it was Boxing Day actually. And I was just there in the footwear section and a woman came up to me, she was like, her name was Sophie and she was like to me, oh like, do you want to be a model? I was like, uh, <laughs> good joke. Oh, so, so a scout came up yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah, And I was like, yeah, good joke. Like, that's funny, where's the cameras? She goes, there's no cameras. Like, I'm being dead serious. So I was like, so what's in it Did for me? Did you have the long hair and the beard and everything? No, there? I didn't have the beard. I, it was clean shaven, but the hair was slipped back rather than yeah. long. But then over the time, I, I grew it out. Because they were like, you know what? We like your hair. Your hair's good quality. Yeah, let's, see, let's grow it out and see what it looks like. Oh, your beard? No, no. The, the okay. hair, the hair. Yeah, the ponytail yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. So after that, I asked her, I was like, yeah, what's in it for me? She goes to me, oh, free flash, free food, and if you get chosen, big money. I was like, to sign me up, like, I'm hearing what I want to hear, you know? I'm in uni, I'm thinking, yeah, student loan plus this. What uh, were you studying at uni at this? Business management. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't get to finish it after second year. I ended up leaving. Why? Yeah, because it's not for me. I can't sit behind a desk and just sit there and be obedient. Like, oh. if I'm going to learn, I'm going to have to do it, physically do it, and learn through trial and error. That's why I think people nowadays don't really understand it. Oh, fair enough. So going back to, to modelling, with with the modelling now, mm -hmm. so you went to Paris? Yeah, with Elite Paris, that was an agency out there. Okay, and how did you find that? It was actually pretty decent. I got a couple of shows, I got... I had, I've done quite a few seasons, to be honest, in my early years, like in the first six years. I was doing quite... Six every, years? Yeah, first six years I was doing quite a lot of shows. In the past four years I haven't been doing much. But it's more like I've been focusing on life rather than the modelling side of it. I've been trying to get businesses up and running and I've been trying to get my music up and running so that they work hand in hand with the modelling and they both boost each other up and that's where I'm at right now. Okay, where can people find you on social media? So I've got Instagram, R13NTE, that's Riente. And I've got YouTube, I've got Spotify. So any platform, just search up Riente, 
R I E N T E, but my Instagram's R one three N T E. What have you learned about modeling and the music industry that you wish you knew when you had started? To be honest, you just gotta be outgoing, friendly. Like I wasn't as friendly as I am now. Like I used to be so reserved. Like I never thought I'd be where I am now. Do you get? It? Like I always thought, yeah, I'm just gonna get a normal job and just really live my life and whatnot. But then eventually stuff came to me that forced me to talk to people and forced me to like be out on camera and in front of the camera and I never used to like that. What stuff was that that forced you to do that? So modelling for example, you're taking pictures, you're in front of the camera constantly, when you do a catwalk there's a hundred and two hundred people around you plus what they're broadcasting. So you're just like, oh right, like, there's so many people watching right now and because I was such an introvert, it never really like, mm. I, I never thought I'd be doing it. But then after one, two shows, three shows, the first three shows, I'll tell you now, my heart was uh, racing. It was racing. I was like, oh my God, what if I stack? What if I... Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, we got through it in the end. I thought, you know what? This is not that hard. Mm. Like, you just got to believe in yourself at the end of the day. Mm. So you were given interviews before? No, I haven't actually. Like, oh. this is my first interview interview, I'd say. Okay. Like I said, I'm, I keep myself low-key. The only time people really know about me is when I'm promoting my music. I literally oh. just went to Iron Apple recently the other week, started playing my music out there and people were like, yo, that's actually nice, like, it's very good, like, it reminds me of Be Young, it reminds me of Gecko, it reminds me of this, I'm like, it can remind you whoever you want to remind you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hear, I hear, that's, that's really good. What, what would be your words of wisdom to somebody who wants to get into modelling? Keep going, man. Don't listen to these people that come to you and say, oh, yeah, we can help you build a portfolio and pay the money, pay this, because if they really wanted you, they wouldn't ask you for money. Cause that's what a lot of people go wrong. They'll be like, oh, I went to do this modeling thing, but then they scared me of 200 pounds. They haven't given me no pictures. They haven't given me this. And I'm like, bro, I can't lie to you. If they want you, they will come to you. They'll find a way to find you. So you just keep going at your thing, at your craft. You take pictures, you get someone who will support you, take pictures, change your outfits, go to nice locations, put it on your Instagram, promote it as much as possible. If you know, if you know friends in little brands, wear their stuff and just mm. get out there really. It's all about exposure. The more people see you, the more they want. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. What does the future hold for you? I don't know, man. Only God can tell. Like, I, I believe in God. I'm a Muslim at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I leave that to him, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I just try my best every day. And we'll see. We'll see where that leads. Well, thanks a lot for that. And we wish you well. Well, thank you, man. Like, it was actually a pleasure. We hope that episode enhanced your life. We post an interview every day as well as vlogging on our social media channel. Don't forget to subscribe to get our latest episode.